how is it possible that something is moving faster than the speed of light if the speed of light is the fastest thing in the universe? The yeah. universal speed limit? Yeah. What you're re referencing is Einstein's special theory of relativity, which says that nothing can move through the universe, through space, faster than the speed of light. And that's true, but space itself can expand and the space between two objects can expand such that it moves those objects apart faster than the speed of light. So nothing is actually violating special relativity. Space is expanding with galaxies and carrying them apart from each other. So here's us, we're, you know, where we are at the center of our observable universe. And then if you go in all directions out 14 billion light years, you get a sphere. And that sphere is called the Hubble sphere, beyond which everything is moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And it's not a little bit of stuff. It is 97% of all galaxies in the universe are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. It's not just a couple. It's crazy. <laughs> if, if something moves faster than the speed of light, we will never see it via light. I mean, that's like what you would intuitively think, yes. We'll never see that galaxy as it is. We'll only see it for how it was when, it, when the light left it. Okay, you are right and wrong. Cool. <laughs> glad, I, glad I came. There's a galaxy that we actually discovered in 2016. It's called GNZ11. That galaxy is about 31.96 billion light years away from us now. So that galaxy is moving moving away from us like three times the speed of light or something like that. But you're right, we're seeing it as it was 13.4 billion years ago. Now, it might not even be there anymore. Like all the stars might have burned out. It might have been swallowed by another galaxy. It's crazy to think that there's a galaxy we're seeing that might not even be in existence anymore. No, that's crazy. The universe was just like this stagnant thing. You know, like all these rocks are where they are and light is emitted from that rock all the way over to this rock. If nothing moved and it took 13.4 billion years for the light to get across from one to the other, then they would be 13.4 billion light years apart. But imagine the space between all the rocks and dirt. Imagine that's all expanding with the rocks. So as light's traveling across, the distance between the rocks is getting bigger and bigger. So even though it only took 13.4 billion years for the light to get from GNZ11 to us, we are now 32 billion light years away from that galaxy.